Welcome back to the Edit Bay. Today we are talking about a very exciting update to the Film Convert family. We've got Nitrate, we've got Cinematch, and now we have a Halation add-on to the Film Convert Nitrate plugin that I've been using for well over a year on all my videos. This video that you're watching right now, the very footage that you're seeing, has been graded with Film Convert Nitrate. Now you're probably not noticing a big difference, and that's because there's not a lot of light in the frame that's going to trigger the halation that occurs around especially practical lights like lamps, light bulbs, fluorescent tube lights, that sort of thing. That's where I really love halation. And I see it a lot in the photography YouTubers who use this film stock called Cinestill 800T. Cinestill 800T, as far as we know, is actually Kodak Vision 3 motion picture film stock, 35 millimeter, where they've removed a layer called the Renjet in order to develop it with C41 chemicals. You're probably going, Matt, what are you talking about? This is a Final Cut channel. Why are we talking about 35 millimeter still photography? Well, this Cinestill 800T creates a really cool look where you can see that the lights in the shots, especially if you're shooting at night, really has this red halo of halation around it. Now, this is really common when you're shooting 35 millimeter motion picture film, especially older film stocks from the 70s, 80s, and maybe even before then, the golden age of cinema. Now that halation is one of the ingredients that can make our digital footage really look like 35 millimeter film. And I really love that 35 millimeter film look. Unfortunately, noise and grain doesn't work well with the YouTube compression algorithm, but for anything that I'm working that's a documentary, a film, whatever I'm working on, I really like to use all those components. And halation has always been something that's been missing from the equation. We're also hoping to get at some point Gateweave film convert. That would be really awesome. For those of you who don't know Gateweave, I'll put a link down in the description so you can learn more about it. Anyway, enough of all this talk, and we have got to get into the edit bay and start showing you what the halation add-on looks like when paired with Film Convert Nitrate. So I've got some footage here, some older footage I took with my C100 Mark II way back in the day. And this is some night shots where we've got some practicals in the frame here. And I think with these practicals, we're gonna see some really cool effects with the halation. So let's go to the effects browser and grab Nitrate drop it onto the clip by double clicking it. You can already see that the clip has transformed a little bit. There's a lot of grain in the image and we're gonna go ahead and tweak all that and dial it in. So I'm gonna grab the controls here, move it over to this side so we can take a look at this. And we're gonna plug in the camera information. So we've got Canon and then we've got the C100 Mark II. And then we've got, of course, Canon Log is what we shot. And now this is gonna make the image incredibly dark. Now, when I shot this, it was at night. I had a 2.8 lens, really wasn't set up to do a night shoot. So I probably underexposed my shadows quite a bit, but we're gonna use Film Convert to try to bring that back a little bit. Now with Nitrate added on, we already have halation on. So I'm just gonna turn off. Can't really notice much of a difference, but we're gonna dial this in here in a moment and take a look at what we can get this to look like. Now I want the grain to come down a little bit. I'm gonna drop it down to about 50. And then this is a 35 or super 35 millimeter camera. So let's go ahead and change the film size to match. And then let's look at halation just by itself. You can see it's very subtle here, super bright right here, but very subtle on these practicals. So I'm gonna just bring up the sensitivity a little bit and then bring up the strength just so I can see what it looks like. And let's go ahead and soften it a little bit. That'll spread it out a little bit. Now this might be too intense, but let's take a look. No, it's actually not that bad. But I really want to see that red halo. Right now, it's there, but it's a little too soft. So let's go ahead and go the opposite direction, but then boost the strength a little bit. And then maybe up the sensitivity so we get a little bit more. And something like that starting to look good to me. You can see it's quite a bit different. We've got some real brightness here where you can't really make out the shape of the light like you can with halation turned off. So I'm going to go ahead and drop the highlights down a little bit just so we can see the shape of the light and then boost the saturation so it's a little bit more red. Looking good. And then, yeah, let's get that spread going. So right now you can see, let's go ahead and zoom in here a little bit, even just in Final Cut. You can see that we've got the shape of the light is still visible, which I like, but then we've got all this red glow around it, which looks really cool to me. So if we toggle it off, 
you know, this shot looks cool, right? It looks pretty good. But I think Halation just really takes it to the next level. So let's take this grade and we're going to apply it to this. This is a night shot of an office building in downtown Omaha. I'm just going to add the Film Convert Nitrate plugin. And you can see this is insane, right? This is just way too intense. So I think we need to reset the halation on uh, on this. And let's go ahead and go back. And then let's go ahead and view halation. And then go ahead and up the sensitivity. And then up the strength. And then let's soften it a little bit. And then let's take a look at what that looks like. Now this is what I'm talking about. Look at this. This redness that's coming off these lights that are in this office building into the black parts of frame. Now, the other thing I want to show you is I've got some footage from my EOS R. This was all shot in 4K here in my studio, just shooting directly at some practicals so we can take a quick look at what Halation is going to look like here. And then let's go ahead and add the EOS R through the control center here. Uh, so we've got Canon, we've got EOS R, and then we've got Rec 709 to Canon Log Neutral. Now this always shows a little bit more red than I like. So with my EOS R, I have to really bring the red, the reds down quite a bit. So I do that in the midtones uh, and in the shadows, and then that gets it back to where I really like it. Now halation has been added by default. So let's take a look what the default looks like. It's just a nice subtle red ring around that light. Let's go ahead and just ratchet it up quite a bit. And then let's spread it. Now this is way too intense. You can see where the light has caught this metal um, pull string, that it's just way too much. So we need to walk this back quite a bit, I think. And we'll bring that back. Now we've got all these controls here too with the highlights. Now these are going to make very subtle adjustments. What's nice with the spread is it can really make it a little bit bloomier. Uh, you can see it's not affecting the, the pull string quite as much, but this gives the halation a little bit more of a bloom to it, like you've used a Pro Mist filter. So I really like that you can that you can do that with the spread because it's quite a bit different than soften. Soften really focuses on softening the red part of the halation, whereas I feel like the spread really adjusts the overall highlight values in the shot. And you can see here, you know, this is a little bit over the top, I'm going to actually green this up a little bit with my tint because I kind of like this having a little bit of a, a little fincher greenness to it. Something like that. You know, again, not the most amazing grade. Drop the midtones a little bit, make this a little moodier, get the shadows down. And then let's go ahead and go to Final Cuts Adjustment and do a quick black point because I really like the, the blacks to be super black. There we go. All right, so let's go ahead and try this clip real quick. We'll just do this again from scratch. So let's plug in the Canon EOS R and right here. Now this one's not as red to start, so it's looking pretty good. Um, the halation you can see, nice and subtle. Uh, can see not maybe adjusting it all that much. Let's go ahead and soften it a little bit and increase the strength just a touch. And then I'm going to adjust the spread. and drop the brightness just a little bit. We can also adjust the saturation so we can really crank the red value of that halation. And then you can adjust the hue. So if you wanna go purple or green, you can do that. Let's see what green looks like if we, uh, if we add green halation. Yeah, so you could do that if you want like a basement with like fluorescent tube lights. Maybe like there's a bunch of records down there and someone's bringing someone down to take a look at stuff. You could really go with that, that more of that green look to the lights. Uh, that could be interesting as opposed to the, the standard red look that Halation usually has. But we can toggle this off. It's a little intense. It's a little bit much. You can see the halation over here on the reflection is pretty intense as well. I might walk that back a little bit if I was tweaking, but you can see what it looks like. Let's go ahead and just copy and paste this one over to this one, and I'm going to leave my color grade off. Let's go ahead and see what that looks like. Again, this is really intense. I think this is this is overkill. So let's go ahead and reset everything and then walk our strength up a little bit. Let's soften it. 
increase the sensitivity just a touch. You can see the reflection here on the on the washer door is pretty crazy. Let's get the spread a little bit more so it's a little bloomier. And then we'll drop the saturation so it's not quite as red. Just a little kiss of it. And then maybe we will take the soften off just a touch. And that's what we've got. Different levels of halation. Again, just the nice effect that you can add to really bring our digital footage closer to that film look, especially those of us where filming with 35 millimeter, super 16 millimeter, 16 millimeter film is a little impractical with all the development costs. But this looks pretty cool. The Canon EOS R shot in 4K and 8-bit, a pretty old mirrorless camera by uh, most standards. This isn't an FX3 or something more modern, but I think you really get a pleasing image when you take the image from this camera and pair it with Film Convert Nitrate and add the halation add-on. Now, if you want to know more about Film Convert Nitrate and the halation add-on, I'll have a link down in the description, of course, with an option to buy the software, or you can do a free trial. The link down in the description is an affiliate link, so if you were to purchase this, it, of course, would go a long way to support the channel and help me to make more videos like this. Film Convert has been an incredible partner over the last year plus, and I'm really grateful for them continuing to collaborate, and I cannot be more excited about this halation of uh, Effect. I'm going to use it in all my footage moving forward, especially when I have shots that have lights like these in the image. I think it's going to be an awesome addition for those of us that really love that film look. So if you have any questions, drop them down in the comments down below. I'd love to answer them for you. But this has been fun. This has been a long time in the making, and I'm really excited for everyone at Film Convert, all the hard work that they put into building this new version of Film Convert Nitrate with Halation. Just an incredible accomplishment, and I couldn't be happier for the team there. If you want to see more from me about Film Convert Nitrate, I have two videos that I made all about Film Convert Nitrate and I'll put them up on the screen in the end credits and down in the description. I think that's it for this one, everyone. Until the next one, I'll see you all soon. Don't forget, keep chopping that broccoli.